Wizard, you have seriously important unfinished business here at the Arcanum. Come see me immediately. Ah, oh, there you are. It's time you learned a lesson about being thorough and following through with your responsibilities. Initiate. You heard correctly. You never signed your Arcanum rank promotion paperwork, so you're not officially an understudy yet. So here, sign. Done? Congratulations, blah, blah. While we're on the subject of thoroughness, I hear you failed to submit your full post-Mirage report. Whatever you did in Mirage managed to pull several of the scholars' noses out of their books and get them all worked up about something. Old Baba Yaga's been ranting and raving even more than usual. I think she's even been crying. <laughs> yes, you should probably check on her. Wizard, we have to hurry! Mallory! <laughs> we have to save her! You have to save her. Grandmother Raven entrusted her to me, and I raised her like my own. I did my best, but she wanted to be a heroic wizard, like you. Imperia. That's where Spider's taken my sweet Malori. But Ioni and some of the other scholars have a plan to rescue her. Please, after everything you've done, don't be cravenly now. The stakes are <laughs> too high. Go ask Ioni how you can help. Understudy, at last. Your exploits in Mirage, while impressive, have resulted in a situation we at the Arcanum find concerning. In an unprecedented occurrence, several scholars have paused their studies and convened to address Spider's increasing threat to the Spiral. We've learned that Grandfather Spider aims to recover his Chaos Heart and that he plans to use Malori in some way to do so. If the Chaos Heart is removed from its bonds in Imperia, it will unravel the very fabric of existence. Needless to say, that would be bad. The Committee of Scholars has determined a mission to Imperia is required, and that you should lead it. Do you accept this responsibility? Good. Head to the Dry Docks. Immediately. The Committee of Scholars will brief you on the mission. I will join you all momentarily. As you enter the cavernous dry docks, your senses are assaulted by the smell of dust and the palpable anxiety of the busy scholars. But your eyes are quickly drawn to the extraordinary ship moored close by. You get the sense you've seen it before. Impressive, is she not? It is hard not to admire Kabbalist aesthetics, even if their intergalactic navigational systems are less than stellar. And you ain't gonna get those systems updated with weak puns. Get back to work, bub. Ignis and I will be there to help in a minute. As for you, understudy, now's not the best time to chat, unless you're here about the Imperia mission. You're joining the mission? Great! Though I feel the need to warn you, Imperia ain't exactly a toboggan ride down the hill. Raven created Imperia specifically to keep Spider out. As such, travel and communications with Imperia are exceedingly difficult. Difficult, but not impossible. Raven shrouded Imperia in a magical storm called the Aether, which shields the Chaos Heart from Spider. It even keeps Raven herself out. Unfortunately, the Aether doesn't seem to be a deterrent to the Simi Divine, like Spider's children. 
Recently, I only received a jumbled message from the Empyrean city of Xanadu that leads us to suspect Spider's son, the Bat, is there. Then, one of our adjunct scholars decided he'd take it upon himself to go investigate, so he borrowed Spark's stream portal prototype. Aye, and no one's heard from poor Medulla since. Oh, tis a right shame that. He seemed like a bright enough fellow, if not a wee bit impetuous. Precisely why we are being extra meticulous now. There is no room for error with this mission. Oh, hello there, Ione. We were just briefing the understudy on the particulars of the mission to Imperia. And you're just in time to tell them all about the ship. Come on, Ignis. Spark needs our help. Very well. Come, understudy. Since the Arcanum's last voyage to Imperia resulted in depressing failure, a more reliable mode of transportation has become priority one. Thus, the great skyship you see before you. It's called the Spiral Arc. Does it look familiar to you? It should. Perhaps you recall seeing it referenced when you read The History of the Great Schism. Those who would become the Cabal built it as a lifeboat to usher them through the violent end of the spiral that they believed inevitable. After the schism, the spiral arc was forgotten, until a young man with an incorrigible interest in technology found it here, collecting dust. As fate would have it, that young man, named Spark, hails from Imperia and has dedicated his life to solving the enigma of Imperian travel. And despite my many objections, he has volunteered to accompany you on this mission. He is all- You and Spark should become acquainted. Here, give him this eye on dust he requested, and lend him any further aid he may require. The homemade world door is secured and ready for transport. You sure we shouldn't test it first? This world door will serve as the initial stream portal link and what I hope will eventually become an Empyrean-wide teleportation network. Ah, kind of like how a lead climber does that first free climb to install the guide rope so everyone else can use it to scale the mountain. I suppose so, yes. Just gotta get that first anchor point down, right? Oh, hey there, understudy. Excuse me, I need to check the status of the hull. Greetings, understudy. I am pleased that we may finally be formally introduced. I am called Spark. It is my honor to serve as your science officer for this mission. Hmm, do I detect the invigorating smell of ion dust? Excellent. Come. I will show you what the ion dust is for, and along the way, I can show you around the spiral arc. Please, follow me. This is the arc's main machine room, which I have retrofitted with a sublight stream drive engine. Ignis is smoke testing this stream drive now. Spark me, boy. Your engine sure is impressive, but I can't seem to get her to spool up to maximum warp. Have you tried increasing the aperture of the fission intake? I'm giving her all she's got. I just can't do it. I need more power. Intriguing. It will take some time for me to properly diagnose the issue. I trust you'll figure it out, Spark. Now, if that's all, I've another mission-related task I need to tend to. Yes, of course. Thank you for your assistance, Ignis. Understudy, we should make haste with the tour. These stately doors lead to the surprisingly spacious living quarters. Say what you will about the Cabal, the ensuite lavatories are far more comfortable than those here in the Arcanum. Uh, moving on. This is the emergency escape pod bay. The pods are superfluous to our mission, but removing them all would require too much effort.
Here we find the heart of my intra-ethereal navigational guidance system, the Lux Capacitor. It uses quantum photon superpositioning to breach nanospace, allowing the arc to travel through the stormy ether subatomically. Its design came to me after I slipped and hit my head in the aforementioned cramped Arcanum Lavatory. Shall we continue to the bridge? Our tour comes to its conclusion here, on the bridge. There under the main viewer is the Cyclolabe. It will help us plot courses through the ether, a storm compass, as it were. And we will end the tour with the one detail technology cannot update. The captain's chair, rather, the person in it. Without a sky captain experienced in ethereal travel, the chair and this mission are utterly futile. Fortunately, the scholars have this issue mostly figured out. It would be prudent for you to check on that. I really should get back to work. Time. We should have told Spark to skip the lavatory tour. Listen up, we need to discuss the recruitment of the Sky Captain. The mission requires a Sky Captain with experience in Imperia. I'm sure we don't need to explain how limited that selection is. <laughs> there is only one such person known to us scholars, a wharf rat of dubious reputation, by the name of Captain Taylor Coleridge. You remember him, right? As we understand it, you and old Coleridge, er, uh, Coleridge met in Chrysalis a while back. And we're hoping that relationship will help recruit Coleridge to this mission. He's not my first choice, but he'll have to do. Our intelligence has tracked him to Polaris. I'll mark the location on your map. Captain Cool Ranch is essential to the mission. Whatever it takes to convince him to help, you do it. Whatever it takes. arrives in our time of need. The crooked inspectors are harassing my husband in the stockroom. Help him! Silence! We've given you multiple warnings, Coleridge, yet we continue to receive reports of rats in this establishment. Clean up or pay up! Ye feather brain fish flingers wouldn't know a rat if it were standing right in front of ye! We ain't bribing ye without a fight, yeah! Was that a threat? According to Law 41, stroke 861B, threatening a city official is a capital offense. Prepare to be punished. Who are you? Wizard, how ya been? What brings you? Actually, what do you say ye help me swap this scum out of me stockroom? Then we catches up. <laughs>
Oh, Colorich, I did not know you were friends with the hero of Valrusberg. Perhaps I was a bit um, uh, uh, overzealous. Upon further inspection, I officially declare this establishment healthcare compliant. Au revoir! Thank the seventy seas ye wandered in when ye did, old friend. Come, let me pour ye a tasty tiki drink on the house. Mon amour, what happened? The vile inspectors, they ran away so fast. Was Escoffier crying? <laughs> and all who heard should see them there, and all should cry beware. Beware! The crooked inspectors won't be bothering us anymore, me love. C'est magnifique! The hero of Walrisburg strikes again. I will pour for you our most popular drink, a poisson colada. <laughs> Sounds as though we've both led exciting lives since we parted last. Come, let us swap stories over tropical themed novelty beverages. <laughs> What's that? You didn't come here for a tasty tiki drink? You want me to captain a skyship to Imperia? Absolutely not. The fate of the spiral is at stake. Hmm. Answer still no. Sorry, I'm done sailing. I am a small business owner now and a husband. Besides, even if I wanted to help, which I don't, I wouldn't be of much assistance to ye. The exploits in Imperia came purely by accident. We happened upon Imperia because <clears throat> I got lost searching for the storm gate to El Dorado. We only made it out thanks to a child's lucky guesses. At least that's what they told me happened. I was knocked unconscious in a shipwreck. Woke up days later docked at some strange library. The navigator from that fateful journey was really the one most responsible for piloting the ship the entire time. Hmm. That navigator is actually a sky captain in his own right now, and an adventurous one at that. He goes by the name of Captain... Captain James T. Pork. As it happens, he and his crew passed through here but a few days ago. They were heading to Azteca. Said something about an asteroid. If you tell Pork there's glory to be had, he'll join your cause. No matter how perilous the journey, look for him in the Zocalo. Oh, and if you happen to run into our dear friend, Old Cobb, do send him this way. Tell him he'll never have to pay at the Rada Tiki. You there. Got a second? Please, it's an emergency. Life or death. So, are you a powerful wizard, or do you just dress like one? You are? Great. Whatever powerful wizard stuff you're up to is gonna have to wait. My captain needs your help. Follow me. Here's where the frenzied she-beasts captured him. I'm no good in a fight, but I'll do what I can. We just gotta hurry. Beans! My trusted companion. I knew you'd bring help. Get me out of here before these morosely magnificent priestesses 
sacrifice me. The one with the soulful eyes and the flawless, scaly skin has the key to the cage. Careful, she bites. Only the worthy may enter the shrine to the crying sky. Such unrest only further angers the crying sky. Here's the key to the cage. Just promise you'll take the big man far away. Oh, don't pretend you won't miss me. Beans! You heard the lovely lady. Let me out of this cage. We've got places to go. Darn it, James. I'm a doctor, not a locksmith. Wizard, would you be so kind as to use the priestess's key to let Captain Pork out of his pen? Freedom at last! I warned you, captivating captives, that my crew would come for me. There will be no sacrifice this day. What? We never planned to sacrifice you. We locked you up to keep you out of our personal space while we pray. And that only caused you more grief, didn't it? Beans, new wizard friend. Let's leave these gals to their prayers. I can't thank you enough, wizard. Your timing is impeccable. The name is James T. Pork, captain of the sky ship Endeavor. Charmed, I'm sure. I assume you're already acquainted with my chief medical officer here. I don't know where Beans found you, but I'm glad he did. Thank you both. It was more like the wizard found me. They just dropped everything and ran headlong into battle without flinching. Impressive. I could use someone like that on my crew. Interested, wizard? Hmm, great. First things first, we should probably leave Azteca. Now. But don't worry. A new mission will find its way to us. They always do. What's that? You know of a mission? Imperia, you say? To save the spiral? Hmm. No. My precious endeavor, though a strong ship, will never survive the stormy Imperian either. What? The Arcanum has a ship. That's different. We're in. <laughs> Beans and I will secure provisions and meet you at the Arcanum. I remember the way. Hey, understudy! You're finally back! But where's Coleridge? That no-good, cowardly rat! This makes me... unhappy. Extremely unhappy. The Spiral is doomed if we don't find an experienced Sky Captain. Oh, the wizard found you an experienced Sky Captain, ma'am. Captain James T. Pork, reporting for duty. The doorman, Fitzhume, showed me in. 
Nice to meet you. So, you've sailed the stormy Empyrean skies. Actually, he has. And rather deftly, too. My reputation precedes me. You're Nimbari, no? I loved my short time on Numea. Wizard introduced me to your enchanting friends. <sighs> we have met, Pork. My brother and I were aboard Coleridge's ship that you navigated out of Imperia. It was you who delivered us here. Blue girl? All grown up, and what about little blue boy? Have the years here in the Arcanum treated him as well as they have you? Yes. Sparks' maturation has made me proud. As he will be the mission's science officer, you two should reacquaint yourselves. Understudy, while the crew prepares for takeoff, Velma von Vinkman has requested a word with you in her office before you leave. Well, if it isn't my favorite partner in Shadow. I know, I should have reached out, but I've been busy chasing shadows. Literally. From what I heard, you've been chasing shadows of your own. You've got quite the grandfather spider situation on your hands, don't you? You'll need to be prepared for whatever spider throws at you next. That's why I've created a cool new shadow spell. The Shadow Trickster. Just collect the essence from the Shadow Trickster that I've corralled in the Shadow Training Room. Then I'll use it to teach you the spell. Oh, this probably goes without saying, but don't trust anything the Trickster says. Just get the Trickster essence and get out. Good luck! Kind and decent. I'm an innocent captive. Please help. Bah. <laughs> Venkman said you were clever, so I'll be straight with you. I could have escaped this rinky dink study hall at any time, but I wanted to meet you. Grandfather Spider will reward me handsomely for bringing you in. He might even let me keep your head as a trophy. <laughs> Let's play.
Maria de Maria de essence. Grandfather Spider will release me when he destroys you. You and this disgusting spiral. You've got that smug, I just wiped the floor with a shadow trickster look, so I'm guessing your little jaunt was a success. All right, you got the essence. Now here's the trick with the trickster. Cast this little spell, you take on his form and his skills. I hope that spell serves you well in Imperia, wizard. I'm glad I was able to teach it to you before you left. The other scholars might not trust me enough to include me in their little committee, but I couldn't just sit back and not offer to help. Well, I guess I should get back to work, and you should get going to Imperia. Oh, and uh, feel free to tell Ione and the others how helpful I was. <laughs> At last, I, I was becoming anxious. The Ark is fully updated, loaded, and prepped for takeoff. As is the crew. The course is set and we're ready to take our positions. Excellent. Oh, there's just one more thing. Ignis, if you would. Right. I fashioned a special outfit for you, understudy. It should provide at least a wee bit of protection against the Imperian stars. I made you one too, Spark. Sorry, pork and beans. I only had time for these badges. But hey, at least you all kind of match now. Thank you, Ignis. Your gift means a great deal to me. I will say a figurative hello to Imperia for you. And for you, sister. Just see to it that the mission succeeds, brother. And try not to die. That would make me sad. At least we'll look the part. Crew, to your positions. Wizard, we'll leave on your mark. The time has come, understudy. Are you quite ready? Good. Remember, aboard the Ark, Pork is in charge. But that authority transfers to you the minute you land in Xanadu. From there, you must locate my contact, Ziggy Stardust. She should be able to help you track down Malori and the Bat. Take care, understudy. Safe journeys. Oh, and watch out for Sky Squids. Just go. Are we ready? All right, crew, it's go time! Wizard, would you do the honors of initiating the takeoff sequence on the system's console?
We are all systems go, Captain. Ready for takeoff. Excellent, Mr. Spock. Initiate the photon propellers. Photon propellers initiated, Captain. We have liftoff, sir. Take us out, Mr. Spock. We are clear. All systems nominal, Captain. Shall I spool the stream drive for warp speed? Absolutely. And point us toward Imperia while you're at it. Already done, sir. The stream drive is spooled. Entering warp speed now. Take her in, Spark. Headlong into the storm. <laughs> Listen to this kitten purr. You've built quite an impressive sky ship, Mr. Spark. Quite impressive indeed. Thank you, sir. We are approaching the Empyrean Stormgate in three, two, one. We have breached Empyrean airspace, reducing stream drive to normal speed. Whoa! <laughs> the Empyrean ether, just as mean and nasty as I remember. Brace for impact! We have sustained catastrophic damage. The shields are failing. There must be something wrong with the Lux capacitor. We're losing altitude. Pull up, man. Pull up. Pull up. Should be fine. Uh, glad you could join us, wizard. Just take it slow. You've been out in the cold for a while now. How do you feel? Can you walk? That's it. Nice and easy. I ran a full diagnostic on you while you were snoozing. The good news is you're gonna be fine. The bad news is you're in Imperia. The ship took a knockout punch to the chin. It's bad. Real bad. The jewel inside that cyclo thingy looks even worse. The captain's gone outside to look around, and I haven't heard much from Spark. I assume he's okay. Hard to tell if he's concussed or just weird. I've got to salvage my medical supplies. Can you run down to the hold and see if Spark's all right? He'll want to know about the cyclo what's it. In answer to your query, I am uninjured. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same of the Ark. The crash was certainly unexpected. The ether storms have intensified since my sister and I were smuggled out of Imperia. I can only speculate that the conflict between Grandmother Raven and Grandfather Spider is somehow amplifying the storms. Most intriguing. The crash damaged the hull beyond repair. The ship will never fly again. We may, however, still be able to use our escape pods to reach Xanadu. I require a working cyclolabe and Lux capacitor to modify a pod. Our capacitor is intact, but apparently our cyclolabe is broken. We cannot leave this island until the storm jewel in the cyclolabe is replaced. Captain Pork is outside. You can help him search for a new one.